By order of the Overseer Council, the following file describes a group of hostile anomalous entities and is level 2 classified. Unauthorized access is forbidden. Item number SCP-4498 Security Level 2 Containment Class Euclid Disruption Class Kenick Risk Class Caution Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-4498 are to be restricted to the 4498 Quarantine Exclusion Zone formerly Site-53 near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. Interaction with SCP-4498 instances should be limited outside of official diplomatic operations and under no circumstances are any instances of SCP-4498 permitted to leave the quarantined area. In the event of additional rioting events, Apply Task Force Break 99, oh no you don't, is to subdue the instances of SCP-4498 using non-lethal means if possible. These procedures are to remain in place until such time as the effects of SCP-4498 can be fully mitigated. Management of SCP-4498 effects are under the jurisdiction of the Department of Internal Resolution and Regional Research Director. The King Pathos Crow. Description SCP-4498 is a group designation for the 325 plus men, women, animals, and anomalous entities who were previously assigned to or contained at Foundation Site 53, and who, as a result of an accident involving another anomalous artifact, have all assumed the consciousness of Foundation Dr. Jack Bright. SCP-4498 was created as a result of an unexpected interaction between a now-neutralized anomalous artifact and SCP-963. On May 9, 2018, Dr. Bright arrived at Site-53 to work with researchers assigned to scp Beep, a small porcelain cat statue that seemed to negate or depress the effects of nearby anomalies when its tail was turned clockwise. While inspecting the artifact presently, Dr. Bright turned the tail counterclockwise, having not been publicly briefed that the tail could only be turned clockwise from its resting position. Note. Edit pending approval, Jack Bright, June 16th, 2018. This resulted in the tail of the artifact breaking off in Dr. Bright's hand, accidentally triggering a different, previously unknown latent anomalous effect that interacted with and amplified the effect of SCP-963. Addendum 4498-1 Incident Log 4498-1 The following is a transcript of a video recording of the moment that SCP-4498 was created. You'll see there on the paw a marking. I think that's maybe the signature of the creator or some other craftsman mark. So, uh... Yeah, I see that. Let me see here. Yep, okay, that's interesting. We've printed up our report, if you're interested in seeing the data. There are some really interesting figures in here. We might be able to apply this information to our anchors division. Yeah, I see that. So, uh, what do you do? Just turn the tail which direction? Clockwise, but I wouldn't without proper... Wait, not the other! Dr. Bright turns the tail counterclockwise. The tail breaks off and falls to the floor. Oh. Whoops. The lights in the room flicker as they do across the entire site. When the security camera reboots, SCP-4498, Hamelin, Ulrich, and Fox are standing up, having collapsed to the ground moments before. Hang. Wait. What? What? What happened? What do you mean, what happened? I was just... Hold up! You're me! Excuse me? What are you talking about? He's me! I'm him! Oh, wait! Who am I? That's my body! It's just that stupid cat thing! What did he do? Do we all get swapped around or something? Uh, no, I... 
That's probably it. All right, on the count of three, everyone say who you are. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, chuck fight! Uh-oh. Addendum 4498-2, Emergency Communication Log 4498-1. The following is a transcript of the call made from the Site 53 Emergency Line. The call was made using the authorization code on Dr. Jack Wright's ID badge. As protocol determined, the call was routed to SCP Foundation Senior Regional Director Sophia Light at Site 17. Phone ringing. This is Sophia. Ah, oh, Christ. Thank God. Sophia, it's Jack. I don't have a lot of time. We... Jack, slow down. What's going on? I can barely hear you. Sophia, I think I've really screwed the pooch this time. Jack the Hound, Rick the Pup. It's bad, Sophia. Really, really bad. <sighs> Jack, please. I'm so busy today, I can't... I know, I know. But this one is probably bugged, Sophia. We were working on that dumb little cat thing that we were going to use in the anger trials, right? Maybe two hours ago? I don't know. I was looking at it. And then I went to turn the tail. Clockwise, right? Yes, clockwise. When I turn it, uh, clockwise, it broke in my hand. Just like that. Poof. Poof. Just like that. So what happened? You broke it, and then what? Hang on! Saying I broke it is really a, a misnomer. It's more like it just... Jack? Right, sorry. Anyway, the light started flickering, and when everything had calmed down, they... They... They what, Jack? They what? They're all me! Every single one of them! Sophia... I know I'm me, obviously. I'm wearing the freaking amulet, but... Jack? Hello? Shh! They're nearby. Okay, they fast. Christ, Sophia! They all think they're me! Or maybe they are me! I don't know, but they're absolutely freaking mental, Sophia! They're out here storming around, throwing crap, writing naughty words on the whiteboards. They're mad! Every single one of them! The site is in freaking lockdown. I'm sitting there in the goddamn crapper trying to stay out of sight. And I need that goddamn EFAC, Sophia. Sophia? Jack, I'm really, really busy today. Why does this always happen when I'm busy? Well, okay, just send over a task force or something. What about man? Can't man do something about this? Man is away, Jack. He's at a conference off-site. Okay, well, where's the freaking conference at? And I'll call him myself. Site 53. Site 53? Yeah. His team got there maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. Jack? Sophia? I'm at Site 53. Frick. Addendum. 4498-3 Video Log 4498-1 Holy Camera 32 11 hours, 23 minutes, 6 seconds Camera is recording in empty hallway 11 hours, 23 minutes, 14 seconds Camera begins to shake slightly 11 hours, 23 minutes, 26 seconds Agent Troy Lemon sprints down the hallway, squeaking wildly 11 hours, 23 seconds, 29 minutes. Regional Director Everett Mann, Dr. Justine Everwood, Dr. Evan Desay, Dr. Charles Scares, and Regional Research Director Kane Pathos Crow also ran down the hallway. 11 hours, 23 minutes, 37 seconds. Hallway is empty. Camera is still shaking. 11 hours, 23 minutes, 41 seconds. A mop of SCP-4498 instances run down the hallway. They are carrying broken pieces of furniture from the staff lounge. 
as well as kitchen utensils and at least three tires of unknown origin. 11 hours, 23 minutes, 57 seconds. Hallway is empty. 11 hours, 24 minutes, 4 seconds. SCP-4498 Clef enters the hallway. He stops to lean against the wall, breathing heavily and complaining about Agent Clef's physical fitness. After a moment, SCP-4498 Clef stumbles back into a trot and leaves the hall. Addendum 4498-4 Incident Log 4498-2 After several hours of radio silence from a lockdown Site 53, Mobile Task Force Rear 8 gate guns arrive on site to lift the lockdown and assist with de-escalating the situation. The following is transcript of the video recording captured from Rear 8 Leeds body camera. MTF Rear 8 passes the site checkpoint and enters the Site 53 inner yard. They stop in front of the main door and windows, which have been boarded up. Rear 8 members exchange uncertain glances. Hello? Is anyone there? Dr. Bright? What do you want? My name is Agent Cody Blondes of Rear 8. We're here to extract you. Which one of you is Jack Bright? SCP-4498 Donaldson appears in the doorway, holding a rifle. Get drink, Tommy Hawk! We're all Jack Bright! Bugger off somewhere else! They got this under control! There's the sound of an explosion from somewhere else on site. SCP-4498 Donaldson does seem surprised. Alright, I understand, but we just need to get Dr. Mann and his team out first, as well as Dr. B uh... SCP-963, is that alright? Is that alright? What? Are we not bright enough for you? Just because we're not wearing that goddamn amulet doesn't mean we're not actually dark bright. Screw you! Alright, like, look, we're not trying to start anything here. We just need to get in there and extract the individuals we're looking for. Then we can negotiate for whatever else. No luck, Guncock. You're not the bosses here anymore. Site 53 is under new management. Better management. Alright, can we talk to them then? A figure appears on the roof alongside SCP-4498 Wilson. She is wearing a tri-point hat and three-quarter length jacket as well as thigh-high boots and butterfly eye patch. The figure scans the task force then laughs loudly. I, what? Dr. Kiryu? Ah, that be the pirate queen Jack brought to you, you filthy slim dicted landwell. Now be going to shot around here, and from now on, naughty, don't you dare take another step closer. All my boys here will shelf a hot poker up into your asses. You have got to be kidding me. The pirate queen Jack Wright will not be the kidder, you wrong shot tank. Stop off the street with me and be gone from my realm. We're all just going to come in now. Sound of gunfire. We are eight scatters. Christ, they're shooting at us. Come on, we need backup. Repeat, we are under fire. No, I mean, I think they're all very terrible shots, so we're not in any immediate danger, no. But they might get lucky, or... Yes, sir. We'll just post up here. Addendum 4498-5 Video Logs Video Log 4498-2 Sea Wing Camera 4 13 hours, 10 minutes, 15 seconds. Camera is observing the temporary containment cell for SCP-096. Note. SCP-096 had been moved to Site-53 temporarily after being recontained following containment breach one month earlier that necessitated repairs to its permanent containment cell. 13 hours, 10 minutes, 15 seconds. SCP-4498 Jones passes by the front of the containment cell. SCP-4498 Jones pauses when they hear a knocking on the cell door. Hello? Who's in there? 
It's me, you asshole. It's Jack. When the site got locked down, I got stuck in here with this frigger and I need to get out. I've got a piss. What the frick were you doing in the Shy Guy's cell? Science, you dumb frick. What do you think? Hmm, I don't know. This feels like a trap. Is this a trap? What? Why would this be a trap? I'm the one who's trapped, idiot. Let me out. Hmm. Okay, just so long as you promise this isn't a trap. Fine, whatever. Open the freaking door. 13 hours, 12 minutes, 12 seconds. SCP-4498 Jones opens the door. SCP-4498, SCP-096. Rapidly exits containment chamber, crackling. The entity grabs SCP-4498 Jones and throws them down the full length of the hallway. <laughs> Fingers crossed, bitch! It was me the whole time! SCP-4498, SCP-096 closes the door to the containment cell. Frick yeah! This is awesome! 13 hours, 12 minutes, 24 seconds. SCP-4498, SCP-096 exits. Video log. 4498-3 Dumpster Camera 1 Camera is observing the Site 53 trash receptacles. A group of rats sit in front of a dumpster, watching it intently. Suddenly, a figure emerges from the dumpster, covered in refuse. Come, my brothers! Join me in the down below! Face the great jack! Face the dirty down below! All SCP-4498 rat instances enter the dumpster. SCP-4498 Fat descends. Video Log 4498-4 Exterior Camera 17 Several instances of SCP-4498 stand on the deck of a large wooden ship, believed to be constructed over the top of a Foundation issue M1 Abrams tank. SCP-4498 Zedkidu stands at the front of the ship, one leg perch on a prow. Agent Troy Lemon is visible, bound to the ship's mast and gag. Addendum 4498-6 Audio Transcript The following audio is picked up by a microphone attached to the podium in the Site 53 conference hall. Based on the apparent proximity of the voices to the microphone, it is believed that the subjects were located in a nearby storage closet. Shh! Quiet! There's another one coming! Quiet! Come out, Jack! We got some big oakens! And also try! Come out, Jack! Voice fades into distance. This sucks! Yep. So, what are we gonna do? Good question! Is everyone here? Did we lose anyone? I'm here. I'm fine, man. I'm also... Dr. Crow, please get your ass out of my face! Ah, but I am over here, Dr. Everwood. I believe that ass might belong to someone else. Who else is in here? Hello, friends. <coughs> hey! Get the frigga off! What's wrong with you? Look, it's me! See? I'm lit, right here. Jesus, that's hurt. Get off me. What in the hell are you doing in here, Jack? Hiding, I'm hiding. There are a thousand of me there, and they lost their goddamn minds. Have you seen all the things they're doing? It's like they never read the list. You know this is your fault, Jack. Oh, well, hang on. That's not necessarily true. Teacher controversy, you know. Regardless of what happened here, we're all in this together, right? How much do you think the Pirate Jack would give us for him? He could use him to barter for Agent Lament. Now hang on one finger freaking second there, you! On the contrary, Comet, I think if we want to clean up this mess, we'll need to utilize some of Dr. Bright's anomalous features to do so. Thank God, finally someone who... Say what now? Your 
amulet's anomalous characteristics are imprinted on everyone at this site. But only imprinted, not installed. I believe if we could find a cat statue and figure out how to repair it, then get you to do your thing to it, we'll be able to render the site and its inhabitants free from your particular brand of shenanigans. Oh, well, that's not so bad, we... Of course it might break your amulet. What? Hmm, sad. Well, I don't want to make sacrifices. Arvind? Everwood? Drop that man! Let's go unscrew ourselves! Why the frick does this crap always happen to me? Addendum 4498-7 Recovered Document The following document was recovered on the person of Dr. Charles Gears, who claimed that many similar flyers are posted around the site. To the coward Jack Bright, by the authority of Her Sultious Majesty, Jack Bright, Pirate Queen, Raider of the High Seas, Mad Butterfly of the Roaring Waves, we do command you to appear before the Pirate Council to negotiate a release of butt stabbing and an execution of one Troy Lemmet. His crimes are numerous. Lollygagging, saying hurtful things, criticizing Queen Bright's very good hat, funification with a duck. I was the duck. <laughs> this won't be forgiven. Appear or be butt stabbed. Addendum 4498 8 Video Log Transcript The following video log details the May 10th, 2018 negotiations between Director Everett Mann and the SCP-4498 instances identifying themselves at the Site-53 High Council. Video Log 4498-5 Inner Courtyard Camera 2 Director Mann, Doctors Gears, Bright and Crow enter the courtyard. Seated at a table across from them is SCP-4498 Zedkidu and several others. Cease, travelers! You stand before the High Council of... Ah, it be the Pirate Council, you sea bucket! Get it right! Sorry, you stand before the Pirate Council of the Site-53 in the glory of the Pirate Queen Jack Wright. Ah, that be true. Hi, oh, dear Jack. Fancy meeting you here. Then. Ah, that be not my name anymore, Jack. Now I too be Jack Jack. In fact, we all be Jack. I come representing the culinary Jack of the kitchens and brick rooms. Our feasts are legendary and very tasty. I represent the sneaky darkness Jacks of the parts of the site where the power has gone out. We are sneaky and very mysterious. I am Master Jack, Lord of the Aqua Jacks, protector of the toilets and sinks. Interesting. It appears that while they all maintain the same characteristics of the original Jack Blake, their mannerisms and personalities begun to differ widely, even becoming ludicrous to the point of I am Filth Jack, behold my armies of trash and refuse. Many instances of SCP forty four ninety eight rats appear at the feet of SCP-4498 Bat. They sway in unison and chant in an unknown language. Ah, what a mighty council we be! So, Jack, have ye come to rescue your precious man toy, Troy Lemmet? <sighs> yeah, I guess. That's what I be wanting to hear. Bring up the boy! Several instances of SCP-4498 Eight, carry Agent Lemmet into the courtyard and drop him in front of the table. He is naked and gag. One of the instances removes the gag. <coughs> Look, I said I didn't know it was a duck, all right? It was dark and hard to tell. That's not my fault. Quiet, you duck penetrator. There'll be business to do here. Well, business indeed. Oh, like Jack, we've been having your foul... Filter, give us what we want. What do you want? The amulet, Jack. What? Why? Because, Jack, we don't know how long we'll be like this, and I'm not planning on dying any time soon. You give me the amulet, and I'll give Leo Lemon. This is dumb. This is really dumb. Why the frick are we doing this? You're all me, right? I never want to be a pirate, or a chef. Or a sink person, or whatever the frick that thing is. You're all me, sensible people. 
well known for their good instincts and controlled temperament. Why can't we just... Dr. Bright hesitates. Dr. Gears, direct demand, and Dr. Crow are all staring at him. What? You have something to say? Enough talk, Jack! Give me the amulet or prepare to be boarded! Dr. Gears stepping forward. Fine, fine. He'll give you the amulet. I will? In exchange, we want the cat statue. Cat statue? What's your game, Cog? For the study and investigation. Come now, Pirate Queen Bright. I know we're all men and women of science. Hmm. Acceptable. Hand it over. Cat first. Hello, I'm still here. Ah, this be feeling like a trick. Be this a trick? Of course not. Hmm. Well, that be good enough for me. Here be the cat. SCP-4498 Zekidu tosses SCP beep to Dr. Gears. Gears nods and Director Man pushes Dr. Bright forwards towards the SCP-4498 instances who restrain him. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Frick! As Agent Lemon inches crawls towards Director Man, Dr. Gears fiddles with SCP Beep. SCP-4498 Zekidu comes down from the table and stands in front of Dr. Bright. Ah! It be about time! Victory be at hand! First mate, bring me my best thick sniffing knife! Wait, what the frick? SCP-4498 Clefs appears behind SCP-4498 Zekidu in his hands as a large knife. No hard feelings, Jack. Just need to make sure you don't try to get back up once I take back what's mine. Dr. Gears holds SCP Beep out. There we go. Jack! What? Dr. Gears tosses SCP Beep to Dr. Bright. Clockwise this time. Well, you told me this be not a trap. Dr. Gears shrugs. Ah, hell yeah. Get fake pirate ass looking bitch. Dr. Bright turns SCP Beep's tail clockwise. SCP-4498 Zekidu and SCP-4498 Clef stumble backwards as if hit in the chest. Both stagger forwards, rubbing their heads. Christ, what happened? What did you do? Why am I wearing these boots? Nice it! SCP beeped disintegrates. Dr. Kidu, Agent Cliff, and Dr. Bright exchange glances. Dr. Crow turns and runs for the courtyard exit. Time to scumper, friend! Dolly ho! Dr. Bright, Dr. Gears, Director Man, Dr. Kidu, and Agent Cliff sprint towards the door. Agent Cliff picks up Agent Lemon, mid sprint, and carries him over his shoulder. All present SCP-4498 instances chase the group out of the courtyard. Addendum 4498-9 After Action Report The following is a series of interviews conducted by Site-17 staff in the wake of the Site-53 incident once the site was recontained. After Action Report Interview Regional Director Everett Mann Apologies for the inconvenience, Dr. Mann. This won't take long. Fine, fine. Go ahead. Ask away. Can you tell me what happened immediately after you arrived at Site 53? Yeah, we got there, pulled up, walked inside, and a bunch of people were standing around talking to each other. When we came in, they looked up and asked who we were. And when I told them, they flew into some kind of, uh, of drunken frenzy. Drinking table, shattering glass, almost like some kind of seeming rage. One of them threw feces at me, I swear it. Why didn't you leave? Leave? <laughs> First of all, I'm a doctor of the Foundation. A good doctor never flees. Second, who better to deal with the angry swarm of Jack Frights than me? Dr. Everett Man, the Foundation's greatest surgeon. Do you know I've never had a surgery that wasn't a perfect success? It's true. But certainly it would have been prudent 
to help your colleagues escape? Colleagues? Dr. Desai, Dr. Everwood, Dr. Gears, uh, Dr. Crow? Ah, yes, I forgot a dog was there. Well, they performed admirably, though between you and me, I think they talk too much. After action report interview, Dr. Event to say. So, do you have anything else you'd like to... What took you all so long? Could you have not called a halfway comet in task force a little earlier than you did? What about the one you, you know, uh, what's it called? The one with the four of them, Pandora's box. That's right. Instead, I'd listen to Jack Drake trilling with Jack Drake for 12 hours. You know how much bright on bright action there was going on in there, Caden. Uh, no, I don't. It was a lot. After action report interview, Dr. Jack Wright. So... How you doing? Have you been to the gym recently, or... Jack, I was supposed to be in Bisa right now. You know where I'm not? Ibiza? Alright, yes. That was maybe not my best move. How was I supposed to know what would happen if you turned the tail too hard or something? It wasn't too hard, Jack. You turned it in the wrong direction. Clockwise is to the right. You turned it to the left. Huh. Man, sounds like your training program is sort of lacking then, yeah? Might be worth investigating that, you know, so this sort of thing doesn't happen again in the... Jack, the shy guy was at that site. You know that? I did not know. Well, it was, and for a while it was you, and then it wasn't you suddenly, and you know what it did? I, uh, well, probably not anything good. No, Jack. Not something good. <sighs> but whatever that cat thing did to everyone in the site eventually wore off on the shy guy. So we're hoping it'll do that to the rest of them too. Until it does, we're going to just let it play out. They formed some sort of feudal system in the theory that seems to be more or less self-sustaining. Oh yeah? Who's in charge? One of the janitors, I think. Oh. Huh. As for you, we're putting you back on special probation for a few weeks. This never seems to help you learn your lesson, but maybe it will this time. Ah, oh, goddammit, Sophia. I hate special probation. <sighs> What's it going to be this time? Lemon seems to think you would think it was funny if it was a duck. Oh no, you freaking don't. So it's going to be a wombat. That's annoying! You think? After action report interview, Agent Troy Lemon. Uh, what do you say is the part you're having the most trouble dealing with? It was horrible. At one point, they had me tied up on that boat, and I can see the cleft version of Fred standing in the corner, licking his chops and holding a knife. I was naked as a jaybird. Truly, I was. And even now, with my waking sight, I can still see Jack's dead pupils staring at my Johnson from behind my poor sweet friend Otto's eyes. I don't know if I will ever be able to get over that. After action report interview, Agent Otto Clef. Huh, it's that what he said. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I was late getting to the site. I stopped by Mackey's on my way to work that day. I just thought it was really funny. You know I beat Troy's naked body with a trout. Screw me if that was good. My poor sweet friend Otto. <laughs> Christ, I love the SCP Foundation.